the kind of procedure, this is the width, or sometimes we could يعني, inject it artificially in so we uh, pneumothorax or pneumoperitoneum. يعني تحقق الهواء بالأبدومينال كابيتي أو تحقق الهواء إنسايد الأبدومينال كابيتي you induce a pneumothorax this is to make a collapse of the lung to prevent of this infection a second this is with this is the complete respect of the ribs from the first rib to the 12 ribs. I keep only anterior uh, chest wall and posterior chest wall. It will be opposite each one, and there is no space uh, kept it. But this is always, always, if I do it a total, it should be resected the lung, and I do the minectomy. Now, the indication, indication for the restriction. First of all, have a persistent positive sputum with cavitation after five to six months of the continuous optimal therapy of TB. يعني أخذ المريض العلاج ما تبي الشيء المضبوط والجرعة المضبوطة والفترة الزمنية مضبوطة still have a positive زين. Mycobacterium tuberculosis in the sebum. Second, when you have a localized pulmonary disease caused by the atypical mycobacterium, this is what you call mycobacterium avum, or what we call it intracellular, or other atypical mycobacterium. This is a localized one. You should be do resected because it is a difficult to eradicate it by the optimal treatment of TB. A mass lesion of the lung and the area of TB should be always do it. Maybe it is a possibility of the bronchogenic carcinoma associated with. A massive life threatening hemoptysis or recurrent severe hemoptysis. Either do an embolization of the artery or we can do a section by either lobotomy or bilobotomy. When you have a bronchopleural fistula not responding to the tube thoracostomy, or we have a severe symptoms and destroy of the lobe lead to the bronchiectasis, this is also indication for the surgery of resection. Seven one, it is a thick wall cavity and lastly, when we have what we call the trapped empyema lung, this is a severe decrease in the ventilatory capacity of the lung. A contraindication for the surgery, when we have a wide spread of the endobronchial disease, not in the parenchyma, endobronchially, it is wide spread, it yani involves the segmental bronchus and lower bronchus and to the main bronchus this is a contraindication for surgery and children rarely require a section and you can treat it always by the medical one complication of the surgery may be lead to the bronchopleural fistula especially in immunectomy or lobectomy empyema or maybe have a bronchogenic spread yani from the infected lung to the healthy lung or maybe have when you have a resection resection of one lobe maybe have what we call the apical space problem yani the remnant lobe it will be not occupied the all thoracic cavity this is a problem a problem but always always this is, it should be, and you know, when I finish the lobotomy, I, I, I told the anesthetist to be inflated the lung. I encourage the patient immediately after op to take a brief exercise and chest physiotherapy to prevent of the atelectasis, and it will be lead to the, what have, apical space problem. 
the first of complication it is previously 20 to 45 major complication now it is less than 15 percent 85 to 90 percent have an excellent prognostic free of the disease at least five to eight years thank you very much for your listening i hope that you will succeed in your career thank you very much for your listening